Kirkland's, the Nashville-based home decor retailer, is among companies private equity firms could find attractive in the coming months, according to industry sources. With more than $80 million in cash on its balance sheet and no debt, the arts and crafts purveyor would be an ideal leveraged buyout target. And Kirkland's would not be adverse to approaches, according to a source close to the company, noting that it is not unfamiliar with P.E. It was in 1996 that Kirkland sold a majority stake to P.E. firm Advent International, which then took the company public and exited in 2002. The retailer has a market cap of over $300 million and an enterprise value of over $220 million. That equates to a multiple of about 5.5 times the $40 million in EBITDA the company generated for the fiscal year ended February 1st. The valuation is well within the range of what P.E. is willing to pay, as financial sponsors target companies with unaffected multiples of less than seven times EBITDA. Even with a 20 to 30 percent premium, it would be an easy deal to finance, as P.E. firms can on average obtain financing of around six times EBITDA. Because of its shaky performance in recent months, the stock price is more than 30 percent off its 52-week high of over $26 per share. The glimmers of a turnaround at Kirkland's and success of other players in the space, such as PE-backed Michaels, which recently filed for an IPO, are encouraging signs for potential PE investors. I'm Richard Collins with The Deal Report.